ROI? Um, how do you calculate it? Do you calculate it? Is it, a, is it an important decision factor when you make decisions on sponsoring racers or sponsoring race properties even? It, well, yeah, I mean, it's all those things. And I, you know, to take what Randy said there and, and incorporate it into, you know, our thought process and our team's process when evaluating sponsorship and your ROIs and your KPIs and your, you know, all the acronyms that we got to throw out there with <laughs> social media and, and just old school marketing. But the reality is you have to get to the bottom of each of those and you have to just assign value. You know, you've mentioned it many times today, Alex, and I think it's the most important thing to know is when my people talk to me about, you know, ROI, great. I mean, you can show me these numbers and we can all do the equation, but the reality is what value does it bring to our brand? Um, so, you know, the way we track ROI is it, it starts at the beginning. It's what kind of a personal and intimate relationship we have with the individual that we select to represent our brand. Um, you know, it's, it's much easier to be able to draw an ROI from that because we can see what assets they're using from their standpoint, from K1 standpoint, what brands they're leveraging, what we're leveraging from that relationship. And we can really calculate it that way. You know, do stickers on a car still matter? Um, not to me so much, but I, you know, unless there's some sort of contingent value to it, then I suppose it does. You know, winning on Sunday, selling on Monday, it's not necessarily in the race suit business, but I can still understand it from, you know, so I guess evaluating ROI, well, everybody's got a different opinion on how difficult that is to do these days. It really comes down to what value does that bring to your brand? Um, and, and so my team, they do a tremendous job. We were a very small brand against some of the big legacy brands in, in the safety industry, but we've we've really excelled in that regard with our athlete program. Um, you know, we've had a, since 2017, we've had um, over 90% of our athletes that have been with us uh, at come back, um, you know, from, uh, you know, calculating the ROI on some of those things. Uh, my Jacob Brown, one of my guys works for me, my general manager who handles most of that, uh, those assets is, let us know about a uh, 300% return on some of those investments with, uh, you know, our distribution. Um, you know, we utilize and leverage a lot of our athletes and, and our uh, social media, as well as our graphics and, and uh, photography department to actually manage and utilize and, and share that information with our distributors as well. We feel that that has got a tremendous amount of uh, value to it. So, yeah, I mean, calculating ROI, it, we could sit here for hours and I'll try to explain how, <laughs> what, what's most important to us, but you got to assign value to each one and every one of those things.